I think the biggest driver of autonomous technology is we think it'll be it'll make transportation really cheap. Um, so we estimate that an autonomous tax taxi would cost about 25 cents per mile, or about 60 Aussie cents per kilometer. Um, so, so that's roughly half of the cost um, that it costs you to drive your personal car. And um, it's m also much cheaper than a taxi, of course. So we think this is going to expand the ride hailing market and um, give a lot of people access to really cheap point-to-point -point travel that don't have it today, uh, particularly in markets like China. Um, of course, they'll be much safer. We also think autonomous cars will reduce accident rates by about 80%. We think most of urban driving will go autonomous, um, and that's where the majority of miles occur today in urban markets. So you can think of it as a two-car household becoming a one-car household, a one-car household moving to zero cars. Um, so if you live in a city, chances are you won't need to own a car. Um, and you could just take an autonomous Uber to, um, every day to work if, if you wanted to. Um, so, so I think for the, the companies that are attacking this, we're looking, Tesla's our largest position in the space. Um, Tesla has a massive data advantage. So autonomous driving is a machine learning problem. Um, for any machine learning uh, issue um, or problem, what, what you need is basically massive amounts of data to solve it. Uh, Tesla has billions of miles worth of driving data that it has the option to pull from. Um, if you look at a player like Waymo, which is Google's autonomous project, um, they have 20 million cumulative miles in their entire library that, that they've ever driven on public roads. Tesla has access to more miles than that in a single day from its customer fleet. Um, so this gives it a massive advantage. To quickly touch on the losers, we, we also think that insurance premiums will decrease significantly because these cars will be safer. Um, I, uh, oil, there'll be uh, less demand for oil um, as everything shifts over to electric and actually autonomous will, will have a disproportionate um, shift because these will be highly utilized platforms so you'll get more miles going electric than you'd otherwise think. Um, but I, I think for, for other winners, we think this could be a boon to uh, the entertainment industry, for instance. You could have more um, Netflix subscribers if everyone's freed up to, to do whatever they want in the back seat. Um, of course, you could be doing work, but um, I mean, if sort of planes are any indication of, of what people will do, we think most people will probably want to watch TV. So it really just it gives back time to the consumer. And, and what's, what's interesting, sort of, if you look at this on an economic perspective, that's really unpaid labor. Um, that's all of a sudden going to go into services. So we also think it'll boost GDP. The US will be the first market where this happens. And I think within the next year, you could see um, Waymo opening up its service to the general public. Um, Tesla, uh, which could basically is coming a little bit from behind in terms of capability, but um, could be a really large player because of their scale. That could be something more like 2021. Um, I think China will likely be the next market, maybe you know a year or two after that. And then um, in terms of the largest auto markets, Europe will probably be the most behind, maybe a year or two after that.